this country from the depths of despair to the great heights of hope. The belief that while each of us will pursue our own individual dreams, we are an American family and we rise or fall together as a nation. Tonight, in this election, you, the American people, reminded us that while our road has been hard, while our journey has been long, we have picked ourselves up. We have fought our way back. And we know in our hearts that for the United States of America, the best is yet to come. Whether you voted for the very first time or waited in line for a very long time. By the way, we have to fix that. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Whether you pounded the pavement or picked up the phone. Whether you held an Obama sign or a Romney sign, you made your voice heard. And you made a difference. I just spoke with Governor Romney and I congratulated him and Paul Ryan on a hard-fought campaign. We may have battled fiercely, but it's only because we love this country deeply. And we care so strongly about its future. From George to Lenore to their son, Mitt, 
Well, the Romney family has chosen to give back to America through public service. I'm going to sign out. And that now. is the legacy that we honor and applaud and tonight. Enjoy this speech. Yeah. This is Doris Knight here in Times Square, New York. In the weeks ahead, I also look President forward to Obama sitting down with Governor Romney to talk about where we can work together to move this country forward. Woo! I'll holler. I want to thank my friend and partner of the last four years, oh. America's happy warrior, the best <laughs> vice president.